This is a short video about Friedrich. He is a six-year-old boy from Roanoke, Virginia. Friedrich is categorized as profoundly gifted. The cognitive capabilities of this child prodigy make him able to master tasks that grown-ups cannot achieve. Some say Friedrich is clearly a one in a million child. So Friedrich, we're gonna play a game. You're gonna hear a few seconds of a country's national anthem. I want you to tell me the name of the country and then I want you to show me where that country is on the map, okay? okay. Ready? Mexico. Very good. I just had it. Good. Netherlands. Very good. Show me. Awesome. Brazil. Very good. Nice. Algeria. Good. Japan. Nice. Philippines. Very good. It's actually the first anthem I learned. The Philippines? Mm -hmm. The first anthem I learned was the Philippines. Oh yeah, Senegal. Very good. That's right. There. France. Good. Russia. Nice. My dad's favorite national anthem. <laughs> Iraq. Very good. That's not how you spell Iraq. <laughs> It's with a Q, not a K. <laughs> Cambodia. Very good. Egypt. Good. China. And why is this little thing here? Finland and Estonia's. Greece. Good. You're wonderful at these. Easy, I can already tell by the drumming it's UK. Good. It, because the drumming is long. Poland. <laughs> Afghanistan. Perfect. Italy. Very good. Germany. Easy. I already know it. <laughs> Canada. Yes. This green one over here. <laughs> Argentina. Very good. Oh, Spain. Very good. Friedrich can do this for every country in the world. He likes music and is able to catch and remember every single nuance. This extraordinary capability has not been shown by anybody in the world, and definitely not by a six-year-old child. Friedrich is special in many aspects. His brain operates like a scanner. He sees something and it stays in his memory forever. At age three, he was already able to complete the following task. So we're going to play a game where we're going to show you blots of countries, and I want you to tell me which country it is as you see it, okay? Can you do that? Are you ready? 
Mexico. Good. Easy. Chili. Netherlands. Brazil. Algeria. Israel. Philippines. France. Iraq. Egypt. China. UK. Poland. United States. Italy. Germany. Thailand. Russia. Canada. Argentina. Switzerland. Indonesia. Spain. Japan. Honduras. Turkey. Bulgaria. Croatia. Greece. Finland. Greenland. Botswana. Republic of the Congo. Macedonia. Sudan. Sweden. Syria. Ukraine. Maldives. United Arab Emirates. Friedrich is able to see these blot silhouettes and knows what country it is. He can do this for 192 countries randomly in a row without a single mistake. Monaco. I taught 11 years at Parkway Christian Academy, and before that I worked at, um, with four-year-olds. I've always worked with four-year-olds, even at our church, um, in the nursery and stuff like that. Four is my favorite age. <laughs> really? Yes. Just... Two years ago, um, when I was teaching at Parkway Christian Academy, his parents brought him um, to my preschool class, and he's a tall young man, and so when they brought him in, but he was four, very much four, and um, they brought him in, and they were really excited about him being in school, and he was super excited to be in school because he knew school was a place where he could learn and get some of that intellectual energy out, and uh, so I met him, and usually when I teach preschool, I have a yardstick with a little puppy on the end of it. It's called Pointer Puppy, and in our room, we have, you know, the ABCs all around the room in order, and then um, we have the numbers, 1 to 20, and at 4, that's a pretty good challenge, you know, just to learn your ABCs. ABCs and your one, two, threes. And so the very first day he was in my class, we're singing the ABC song, and he's looking at me kind of funny, you know, we're singing the ABC song. And then we go to count one to 20, and he's like, Mrs. Gray. I'm like, Yes, Friedrich. And he counts to me by 12s, 200. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I knew I was in trouble because he. You know, he was just so, so smart and so ready to learn. And at four, we don't count by 12s. <laughs> yeah. So so I had to, um, I, I knew he was going to be a special child cause, because I didn't want his um, excitement about school to be squashed. I wanted him to be challenged. And I knew being in a four-year-old preschool class, he already knew everything everything that we were going to learn that year. So we, we called in some extra help and had him tested, and he was put in the gifted program. And he tested at four. Um, he tested on a third grade reading level at four. And that, that was just the tip of the iceberg, though. He, he's not only good with numbers, he's good. He was good with, I, I was saying earlier, we did a lot of interacting with older students. I would bring older classrooms in for reading buddies and stuff like that. And one of the other things that just amazed me about Friedrich was we were doing puzzles and he had a he had a sixth grade reading buddy and we were doing puzzles and they did a, a, a puzzle of the United States and Friedrich could put it together and tell you every state in the United States and he did it in, he did it faster than his sixth grade buddy. It was just amazing, amazing. <laughs> How old was he at the time? Four. He was four. Friedrich loves numbers and everything about math. He's in a special program with Liberty University in Virginia and attends sixth grade math there. In this clip, the teacher writes down very large numbers and he has to identify them. 
Friedrich can read any number that is randomly presented to him. The larger the number, the more fun he has. 176 octillion, 403 two septillion, 894 sextillion, 623 quintillion, 268 quadrillion, 176 trillion, 432 billion, 411 million, 268,423. That is wonderful. Great job. You want an even harder one? <laughs> All right. We'll try an even harder one this time. Okay. Seven hundred I mean yeah, seven hundred sixty-three decillion, four hundred twenty-one non alien, eight hundred and sixty-seven octillion. 421 septillion, 872 sextillion, 641 quintillion, 228 quadrillion, 862 trillion, 443 billion, 162 million, 423,167. Wow, that is wonderful. In his university math course right now, Friedrich especially likes Pythagorean theorem problems and algebra. Overall, it can be said that he understands every math problem that is explained and presented to him. Wow, that is exactly right. Great job. Most of the teachers Friedrich has had up to now agree they never saw a child like him before in their careers. It was just amazing. I taught English and reading and spelling and a math was taught through Liberty University Online. And when he came to me, he was already on third grade math. And five years old, keep remembering that he's five and he was already on third grade math. And he, if he played, um, he would usually win, but he liked to win. He did not like to lose. <laughs> that was one thing he did not like to lose. Uh, but most of the time if he played, he would win because he knew his facts, you know. Just, he already knew them, and that, you know, coming into second grade like that, being five, that was, that amazed me too. I'm just like, uh, but I did, I think I sat in on one of his university classes through Liberty, and uh, the things that he was doing in there, uh, I was like, oh, wow, I'd probably have to go back and uh, learn some of this, <laughs> some of these things that he was learning. But I think he's already into algebra now. Uh, so it's, he's just moving on. I mean, it's just something that he enjoys doing and uh, strives to get better at it. So. X to the nth exponent over X to the nth exponent equals X M minus N. Hi, Friedrich. This is Mrs. Brooks. I have been your teacher this past year at Liberty Online Academy, and I have thoroughly enjoyed you in my fifth grade math class. I am super proud of you and the work that you've done with us here at Liberty Online Academy. I can't believe you're six years old. You are such a smart, diligent, dedicated student, and it shined in your work that you turned into me this year. On almost every single math assignment, you received a 100% that is an amazing achievement for any student, but especially ones as young as you are to be doing fifth grade math. I am, have been so appreciative to have you in my class because of your diligence, your hard working, the things that you have turned into me have been um, such inspirations to me to see a student working so young and accomplishing so much. Um, one of the funnest things that I remember from this year and your work that you turned in was your fraction funny and how you took um, fractions of words and then put them into larger words to create an actual sentence and a riddle. And that to me, your um, humor and who you are really shined in that assignment. So that was a fun one for me to do with you. I just wanted to say thank you for being a part of my class. It has truly been a blessing, and I've enjoyed being your teacher 
during this fifth grade math course. I wish you the best of luck.